Okay, let's keep exploring what we're doing here in Organizer. Let's turn to another area called People. But we're going to need some images to make this happen. So go to the word Import Files and Folders, and in your Work folder, you're going to find a folder called People Places, right there. Go ahead and select it and click Get Media. Don't change anything else. Now they're people, mostly faces. And what I want to do is I want to recognize these people. I want to use what is called face recognition. That's part of Organizer. It's really cool. I'm going to select all the images. I'm going to come down here and say Add People. Now we run through a series of questions. Number one, who is this? So if we come up here and we type in a name. Now I've already used Paula before, so it's going to be there. All I have to do then is come down here. If I come to this one, that is Sheila. Now if it's not there, you'll have to type the whole name in, obviously. But it uses smart recognition on text, and if you've used it before, it's going to give it to you again. I forget his name. I'm going to call him Little Dude. And this handsome guy right here with the strange looking hat is me right there. We've got them all named. Click Save. Now, in a perfect world, this is all you would have to do. If I click Save, it's saying, OK, is everybody in this image who they're supposed to be? Is this all Paula? Yeah. Is this all Sheila? Yes. Is that the little dude? No. You ever hear that uh, song, which one of these is not like the other? Okay, he's not like the other. We don't want him. That is not little dude. Click Save. Now, which of these people would you like to label? I want to label him and her. That's Patty. That's my sister-in-law. That's not a face. That's not a face. And the, he's in the background. I don't care about him. So we're going to select these two. Click Save. Oh, incidentally. You can download or update your Facebook friends list to name these people. We're not going to do that, but if you have Facebook, it might help you. Click Save. Might let me know who Little Dude is, I suppose. That is Little Dude. All I got to do is type in an L and it'll give it to me. This is Patty. That is my sister in law. This again is Little Dude. And this is Samantha. Click Save again. Now we've labeled everyone. Click OK. If we go into people, this is so cool. There they are. Anytime you go in and create more images and use those names, they will be added here. It's pretty neat. If we go into, let's go into Paula. Now we've got this one and this one right here. Let's open this one up. Okay, got Sheila got Paula, but they were so close together, notice it didn't get little dude. I'm going to come down here and say mark face. I need to get him in. It's going to give me a box. I'm up and grab it. Let's put it over his face and make it a little bit smaller, obviously. And who is it? Oh, it's little dude. Go back into the grid. Open this one. Samantha, Paula, you get it. If you don't want them marked, you can click here, turn it off. If you want to change the name, you can come down here, click change the name. Now, if we come back out of here, we'll go ahead and click the back button, which will take us, of course, back here. And we go into all people. Then we go into people or groups. We can change it any way that we want. If we go back to media, of course, we'll get back into the actual images themselves. Anytime you want to, you can go actually into one of these images, assuming we didn't have a face recognition. Like, well, here's this guy way back here, and we didn't get him. If we open that image, we can again mark the face by clicking this button and moving it over. And that's guy. Click the check mark, go back to people, and now we got a guy. If you go into any one and move your mouse across them, if there are more images in there, it will show them to you. Working with people is a great way to organize your images. And don't forget, any time in the future, in any folder that you have, if you add Little Dude, Little Dude will appear right here. Pretty cool. On to the next.